So, uh, last time we were looking about those artifacts. And I think I didn't notice ah, this door time. here. So, some instances do not have this door. Some other do do does do. And there's. I, I noticed that there's spacers that spawned when I loaded the game. But anyway, here. Yep, this looks like what we were looking for. Be a container contamination. Hey, Shara, <laughs> come out of there! Oh no. So this is my, my, where you actually would need the uh, biological uh, defense. Not too bad. Funny thing with the star Starfield is that there seems to be a lot of life in very hostile planets. Talking in, about uh, Venus and Mars type planets. So I wonder if these artifacts here are part of the puzzle where ex explaining pan panspermia, which is which is to say how 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 come life spreads around the universe being a very pie yeah it sounds like a music but i wonder where where the now the Vision didn't give us any more, any more interesting. Okay, so let's get out of here. Nothing is better than unwinding in your own quarters. Yeah. Andresia, thank goodness. We were worried. Why? Was there a concern that I would not contribute to the mission? No, of course not. We thought you might be hurt. Oh. I then thank you, but it was not necessary. We succeeded. Look at you two. I'm jealous. I tried following up on some leads myself, but came back empty handed. They could be anywhere, can't they? Embedded in a rock or in the hands of an unsuspecting novelty goods trader? I catch myself just staring at the collection sometimes, wondering what it all means. Yeah. Maybe that's how our ancestors felt when they were looking up at the stars for the first time. They didn't just gawk at the stars, Mateo. They explored. They tested. Science brought us to space, not daydreaming. For the science. I disagree. What's the point of science if not to enable humanity's dreams? And where do those dreams come from? Not every dream is a pleasant one. I agree with Noel. The work is what moves us forward. You're with me, right? Science or dreams? Which one is the true muse of space exploration? Dreams. Exactly. We can't forget what really makes us human. Genes and evolution are what made us human, Mateo. Both of you clearly need to go back to school. Dreams are wonderful, but Butter. they don't pay for Helium-3. Constellation's bank account can attest to that. Dislike, you know but... what? I just realized I completely overtook this whole conversation. This should be about you and Andresia celebrating a win for the group. I do not mind being asked to join in a debate. It was good to hear everyone's sides. But I do agree that we accomplished something together. Thank you for your help. <laughs> I'm sure I trust you. And for yours. I have no objections. Let us see what else we can find out there. Noel, pulling some interesting data from those new artifacts. Tell the rook to meet me back on board the station. Ah, more, more Roger clues. Roger Vladimir. He's on his way. Huh. Uh, 
Hey, welcome to the Sidonia. If you're here to buy or sell, you might want to talk to Octai. I'm busy. <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time I've heard that line. <laughs> Oh, don't give me that look. I'm just having a laugh. What have you got for me? Hmm. Aurora, huh? Nice. A little too hot to handle, though. What else you got? If the Trade Authority is not interested, that says a great deal. All I'm going to point at is the ceiling, with my middle finger. Get that stuff out of here before UC Security catches on. Of course, if there's a finder's fee you're offering, I might, well, bend the rules a little bit. You know, it's funny. Suddenly, I do remember someone who might be Probably able to unlock works. that stuff for you. Just demand the extra credits up front next time. These games are juvenile and tiresome. <laughs> there's a buddy of mine who runs with the Crimson Fleet. Goes by the name Adler Kemp. If he isn't passed out, you can find him killing the rest of his brain cells at the Broken Spear. Oh, and uh, it's been a pleasure doing business with you. What is it? Yeah, apparently Trade Authority is pretty good at ripping you. A Bro, friend but offered me an ass office job, but I'm making double up here. So Unless you're here to serve me another drink, you can turn around and walk away. Hey, why don't you say that a little louder? I don't think every single UC guard in Sedonia heard you! Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, I think we can help you with this. Check. If you've got a whole shipment of this stuff, you're going to need to move it fast. But you're going to have to do something for us first. Well, of course. Yeah, well, she isn't running the show here. I am. I see no good reason why we should have any extra dealings with the likes of you. Lady, if you want me to move that shipment for your pal here, you're going to do whatever the hell I want. You got that? Now listen up, because I'm not going to repeat myself. I need you to deal with a miner who's racked up a bunch of debt. Okay. Probably spent it all on booze, not that I blame him. Either way, I want that money back. Perfect. His name's Carl Fielding. I think you'll find him wandering around the Deimos Miners quarters. Don't worry, you can't miss him. Just look for the most miserable looking guy in the entire place. And now we need to shake up a guy. Yeah. Who is here? Something I can help you with? Adler Kemp. Who the heck is that? <laughs> Adler, you said? Uh, nope. I think you have me mixed up with someone else. <laughs> uh, look, I'm tired. It's been a long day in the mines. I just want to go home, wash off the dust, and relax. This has been fun, though. Whatever. Uh, hey, hey now, <laughs> take it easy there. Let me think about that person you mentioned. Uh, Adler, was it? Hmm? Oh, wait, you mean that Adler? Uh. <laughs> Sorry, I thought you were talking about someone else. <laughs> I told him I'd pay up next week when Deimos cuts our next profit share check. <laughs> I'll even bring it to him personally. Sound good? Yeah? Uh, well, I mean, he doesn't really have a choice. Look, I haven't got a single credit to spare right now, okay? You can't squeeze blood from a stone. You know? Right? Clearly this man has never seen how hard I can squeeze. Okay. Holy crap! And I really? like that. You, you do that for me? Wow. Uh, 
I don't even know what to say. Thank you. For everything. And don't worry. I'll never borrow anything from Adler again. I promise. So we struck oil. Have something for me? Well, would you look at that. I knew that bum was holding out on me. He going to be a problem anymore? Or did he get the message? Nice. Nice! You're kind of a natural at this. Leaning on deadbeats comes easy to you. I like that. You know, if you like this kind of work, I can get you more. A lot more. You think you can handle running with my, uh, associates? <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. I like your style. All right. I'll call ahead and get a hold of Neva Mora. She's second to the big boss himself. Ah, we know, we know her from the Head out to Europa. Database. You'll find her there. Europa. I suggest you listen to whatever she has to say. Oh, and I've taken care of that Aurora shipment for you, too. Don't spend all that cash in one place. You and the rust bucket! Pick up the damn mic! So, big shot. I hear Adela thinks you're good enough to join our crew. You bet your life on that? Because the only way out of our organization is with a warhead up your grab drive. So, before I put you to work, let's get everything out in the open. I don't know if Adler mentioned it, and for his sake, I hope he hasn't. But you aren't about to sign up with any average pirate crew. You're signing up with the Crimson Fleet. That's if you get through this little task I have planned for this you. This is a pretty big ship, actually, There's she's not flying. There's a medical supply ship called the Raigana, jumping into Enceladus's orbit. On board that ship, you'll find a traitor named Austin Rake. I want him dead. This job isn't about the loop, but I suppose every dog needs its scraps. Keep whatever worthless junk is on that ship. Just remember, the only thing that matters is that Rake dies. It's done when Rake stops breathing. Head back here when you're finished. And don't keep me waiting for long. This Neva Mora, her words are measured and carry weight. She is not to be trifled with. Rook, hopefully you fight as well as you talk. I've been tracking Rick for months. He's making it tough, not gonna lie. He changes his location and identity so often, it's costing me a small fortune just to keep tabs. But you know what? It's worth every damn cred. He's made me look like a fool in front of Delgado, and I'm gonna have his head on a pike. Rake used to run with the fleet. Hell, I'm the one who vouched for him in the first place. Back then he had a different name and a different identity. He was a damn good earner too, brought in a ton of creds. Everything was fine until he wanted out. So he ran. And nobody, I mean nobody, runs away from the fleet. Okay. So we have a criminal mission. We haven't scanned the whole place. Okay.
Jupiter's moon. of this ship comforting. I am not sure what to make of you being here. If you wanted to kill us, you could have done that from your ship. If you wanted our cargo, we could have jettisoned it. I guess I should just stop talking and let you say your piece. That is not something I am going to do, not until you reveal your intentions. As far as you are concerned, I am Austin Rake. You want him? You're going to have uh, to kill he's, me. He's being difficult. Now, do you mind telling us what this is all about? You are asking me to betray my own crew. Yes. I do not know who to believe. But you would not have come all this way if you were lying. <laughs> it's true. I do not know him that well. Uh, this is easy. And some of what he says is suspicious. So you are going to space him. All right. All right, I will do it. I've got no love for the fleet. And if Rake was one of them, my loyalty is with him and... Okay. But if I do this... You have to promise to spare the rest of the crew, and leave the supplies for New Homestead. Is that all it takes for you to flip on me, Dimitri? Unbelievable. <laughs> it is either you or all of us, Austin. I'm sorry. Cut the crap and just admit it. You're a coward. <laughs> you know, I almost bought it. All that crap about helping people and making a difference. But at the end of the day, you're no different from the fleet. When push comes to shove, you only care about I yourself. I promise not to laugh if you need to jump up and down to stay warm. Well, I shot saved your life. This is terrible. I don't even know what to say. Take all the other. Oh, oh, these are valuable. You keep installing new cool things in your ship. It's like Christmas every day. Can I help? I must confess, the hum of a grav drive. Suppose we need to empty, empty the containers well. at some point. All green on release. 
release. We're free to fly. are really important for the basically heal, healing your ship so but they take lots of space so it's it's like nothing nothing interesting here thanks for the help with the cliptic i had it under control uh -huh. definitely went faster after you jumped into the fight now tell me about the ragana give me some good news then we can go celebrate and it's frustrating the hell out of me. I suppose I could have pissed off someone I screwed over in the past, but there's been so many, I've lost count. Okay. Huh. No kidding. That'll make Delgado happy, seeing as our hands are clean. I would have preferred if you hadn't left witnesses behind, but at least you got the job done. Anyway... You want it into the Crimson Fleet? Well, you're in. Yep, it's that simple. Only needed to attack the just medical ship. To to you something. Because I'm about to stick my neck out and vouch for you. Uh, if you screw up and I wind up looking like an asshole, I'm gonna send someone after you. We clear? Sure, sure. Yeah? Last person who said that was rape. <laughs> so you've already dug yourself a hole about six feet deep. And now that you know the deal, it's time to see what you signed up for. I'm gonna upload the coordinates for our headquarters in the Crick system. Spacers call it the key, the fleet calls it home. Head out there as soon as you can. Don't keep me waiting long. Joining the Crimson Fleet is hardly a cause for celebration. But you have your reasons. So for now, I will allow it. Yeah, Andrea doesn't, doesn't like this. Creek, creek system, where's the creek system? Okay, I need to report to to the vigilance. Okay, it's it. On the orbit of Phobos. Acknowledged. 
You're clear to dock at docking port one. The commander will be waiting for you in operations. And we are locked in. It's good to be back in our own ship. Hello, Captain. I had a friend on the Bracana. I hope I'll be able to see him next time we're on shore leave. The fleet killed a buddy of mine. This is more than a job for me. My family's all in the Okay, what are you doing? Being sister, I can brag this. We received word you boarded the Ragana. I don't care if Rake was with the fleet. The pilot and his crew were not. What you did was uncalled for. You coerced the pilot into taking a crew member's life. He had no choice but to comply. You cannot simply pass off the burden of the job whenever it suits you. Understood? Well said. Let's hope the next time your actions match the integrity of your words. Now I want to make this crystal clear. You do what you can to stay in the fleet, but there is an ethical line we cannot cross. Do something like this again, and you're out. Okay. Permanently. <sighs> but for now, we will continue with the briefing. Were you at least able to join the fleet? Then it worked. You're in. As distasteful as your methods were, at least you managed to complete the job. Now it's time for the next phase of the mission. Our intel on Searsha was correct. After we received reports on your interaction with Adler Kemp, we picked up on your rendezvous with Neva Mora. Our files indicate she's second in command. So getting on a good side will ensure you get into the Crimson Fleet. That's where you're wrong. You can believe in honor among thieves, but I venture they suspect everyone until proven otherwise. You just need to make sure you allay any suspicions they have. Do what you have to, but not what you can't do. The Crimson Fleet has yet to leave us enough hard evidence to build a solid case against them. Be careful not to underestimate their intelligence. So what's next for you on Neva's agenda? Where you'll meet Delgado, no doubt. Delgado is the leader of the Crimson Fleet. I have a profile here with some information on his background. You'll want to know the individual cadences of every member of the fleet, but Delgado's most of all. What is there to know? He is pirate scum, like all of them. Exactly. The Crimson Fleet is not a monolith. Any information you have on its members can only help. In any case, now that you're with the fleet, you'll be operating independently. We will shadow you eventually, but we'll need to maintain our distance for now, especially while you're on the key. This will also give us time to bolster our defenses, should we need to engage with the fleet in the future. Sir, on that note, shall we begin implementing the upgrade to our shields? Immediately, Lieutenant. Notify the engineers and relay the information to the crew. I hope your entry into the fleet has overcome any doubts you may have had regarding your mission. It certainly increased my estimates on success. Keep up the good work. We'll expect further reports. Dismissed. Sysdef Marines are the best of the best. Pretty big ship. Huge ship, even. Once we get rid of all the pirates, the galaxy will be a better place. Okay, that's a jail. So, this is our dungeon ship, basically. Captain John, greetings. Uh. 
I'm up for a little adventure. Yeah, we we are getting more than little adventure. We can directly jump there. Well, almost there uh, directly. Pestering the captain, right, Cora? Pester? You think I'm a pest? Oh, never. Poor choice of words. We have a clean to Nice right to the crew, mind. too. Of course. You got your cut. Now get out of my face. You said the take captain was 10K. Captain John, it is. It was 30. Pleasant Big difference on 40% of 10 versus 30. You wanted 4K, you got 4K. Not my problem. If you're stealing from me, you bet your ass it's your problem. Okay. We saw, saw this on the, on the trailer. Way to make a mess in front of my new rook. Hey, steal from me and get caught. Better off dead. Sounds like you did the fleet a favor. Now toss this body out of an airlock before it turns into a damn air freshener. Took you so long. Forget how to grab jump or something. Please. It'd be one less sloppy rook whose mess I had to clean up. The last thing I need is another Austin rake getting cold feet. You want to leave the fleet? You pay the price. Not in credits, but in blood. I don't care. Time is money and you've wasted both. That ends today. Clear? But, all that aside, you made it. So now, you get to hear a nifty history lesson. Pencils ready? Good. This floating scrap heap you're standing on is called the Keep. Used to be an old UC military star station, and now it's the fleet's base of operations. Might look a little beat up on the outside, but we keep it together. Wow, thanks, Professor. That's... that's just terribly fascinating. <laughs> I'll be certain to pass that on to the maintenance crew who have to use bailing wire to keep the plating from peeling off. It is good to know that there is a maintenance crew, but your additional knowledge is appreciated. Anyway, I'll tell you all about the key. But it's better if I show you too. Follow me. Andrea liked my. All right. Back of I think you may be trying to take a little too so, much on. Literally. That's the very same ice ball where the United Colonies built a supermax prison they call the Lock. Okay. The UC is so clever. Lock and key. <laughs> supermax prison, Lock, key. Ah, uh, cute, huh? Very cute. 
Hello, everyone. I'm Gail Dunnigan of SSNN, and this is Galact Talk. Just My guest creeps. tonight is one of the most notorious criminals in the settled systems. His ruthlessness and desire for wealth has landed him squarely at the top of the wanted list for every major law enforcement agency in the galaxy. I am, of course, speaking of the self-appointed leader of the Crimson Fleet himself, Jasper Crix. Good evening, Mr. Crix. Good evening, Gail. Thank you for accepting my invitation. Yes, well, being blindfolded and then Grav jumped to what appears to be an abandoned mining facility isn't exactly what I call an invitation. Well, I'm sure you're not surprised that your request for an interview would come with some very specific conditions. Frankly, I was a bit surprised to receive any type of response at all. Would you mind telling me why you decided to do this interview? Because there comes a time in every pirate's life where they have to make an extremely important decision. Do they take a leap and become one of the most legendary pirates in history? Or do they simply sputter on, subsisting on freighters and deep space privateers? So are we to assume that you are taking the leap? That Jasper Crix is moving on to bigger and better things in his life? That's spot on, Gail. That's exactly why you're here. Interesting. Well then, would you mind sharing with us exactly what your particular leap entails? In due time. There's no rush. In fact, I'd say we have at least 12 hours before the authorities trace this broadcast. Plenty of time to discuss whatever you like. Oh. <laughs> All right then. Perhaps the best place to start this interview would be at the beginning of your career. Please, proceed. Hmm, interesting. Now, we've got everything the fleet needs right here. Of course you've got to pay for it. Remember, on the key, credits are king. What the hell is this? All right, all right, hang on, Nev. Before you get pissed, I've got my hands full. Jasmine, sweetie, I'm trying to give a tour here. So you want to tell me why those damn doors are sealed? It's called a malfunction. You know, that thing I spend most of my day dealing with. Believe me, my people are on it. Have a little faith for once. And you always, Angel. This here's Jasmine. You need anything for your ship, she's got you covered. We'll hit up the depot next since these doors have given out on us. So anyway, we were talking about the lock. About a hundred years ago, the prisoners down there rioted and took over the place. After stealing some ships, they were actually able to make it up here and took over the key. About time you brought us new blood, Neva. I was getting tired of trading with the same old faces. You're just ticked everyone's getting wise to your ridiculous prices, Aludra. Anyway, welcome to the depot, Rook, where you'll be lucky if these blood-sucking leeches don't bleed you completely dry. Whoa, whoa. It's not our fault that people don't appreciate how much it costs to get untraceable merchandise onto the key. Neva's just whining because she thinks she lost a ton of cash selling us a shipment of gear. She should have done her homework. Yeah, sure, laugh it up. I'll remember that next time I need something from you cheapskates. Let's move on. <clears throat> Back to my story. After the liberated prisoners grabbed the key, they established it as a base of operations and began pirating the space waves. That was how the Crimson Fleet began. Of course, Jasper Crix had a lot to do with all that, but, uh, we'll get to him later. Rook, meet Zuri, queen of the rare exports. If I don't have it, you don't need it. Neuroamps, blueprints. Hit her up and she'll take care of you. Speaking of which, you still owe me for that last purchase, Neva. It's like five figures. Don't make me collect it the hard way. <laughs> the hard way? Oh, no. 
Rook, protect me from Zuri's vengeance. Enough of the bullshit, Zuri. I'll pay you when I pay you. Deal with it. Got a problem with that? Take it up with the boss. If it's hard to right, find, I probably got it. Trade authority. I'm sure you know the deal there. He'll buy pretty much anything, no matter how hot. Then we got our med bay on the left, run by the one and only Samina Mizra. She'll patch you up, if you've got the money. We don't run any free clinics up in here, you don't? Okay, this is our final stop. Over there, you've got the last Nova, where Bog serves watered-down drinks at ridiculously exorbitant prices. And right here is the most important place on the entire station. The Reckoner's Core, run by the incomparable Shinya Voss. Another new Rook, Neva? I can't believe Delgado still lets you recruit, given what happened with the last one. You mean Dr. Austin Ray. Ray. It's been taken care of, all right? I don't like loose ends, and this Rook is the one who tied it off. Perhaps next time you'll try to be a bit more discerning regarding your choices. It's far more cost-effective. Yeah, yeah, love you too, darling. Anyway, Shinya handles our lifeblood. The money. We call him our Reckoner, but if you ask me, he's actually a pain in the ass. And Neva will slit your throat if she thinks you'll bleed creds. Go to hell, boss. Take care of our new friend here, or I'll find a way to pull the pin on that little party popper in your chest. Anyway, Shinya will get you set up in our system. I've got real work to do. Once you're done, head upstairs and I'll introduce you to the boss. Time for a proper the boss. introduction. I am Shinya Voss, the official reckoner for the Crimson Fleet. And since Neva so thoughtfully mentioned it, yes, this is a bomb embedded in my chest. And no, I'll never know the meaning of the word humble. In fact, I find Delgado's idea of a security measure to be quite empowering. Glad you approve. Obviously, betrayal isn't taken lightly around here. Since I oversee the bulk of transactions and maintain all accounts for the fleet, I'm a prime target for information. Should our enemies capture me, or I grew any semblance of a moral conscience, you might consider me the greatest threat we have. Uh -huh, For so... Delgado, the bomb grants peace of mind, and a certain degree of safety. Essentially, but I sleep soundly knowing I'm one of the few that can piss Delgado off and live. <laughs> Should I die, all of my knowledge, the accounts, the credits, it would be a mess. He wouldn't dare. So I just he need to kidnap trigger, this guy and disable his bomb. But we all know that my death Not in that order, the fleet. Though. Call the bomb a weapon of last resort. It's why he's the boss. Of course, I'm not the first Reckoner to bear a bomb under my rib cage. But Delgado was smart enough to continue the tradition. Previous ones now, blow, blew up. let me get you set up. A moment while I convene with the core. Thanks to advanced modifications even Dugin would envy. I can interface directly uh, with our mainframe and the Galbank Netrunner network. Netrunner basically from Cyberpunk. This allows me to move and clean credits faster and more efficiently than any run of the mill cyber runner. There. Uh, you're done. All you need now is Delgado's blessing, and you'll be one of us. None. Other than my chest and arm modifications, I am but a simple man. Is the interview over now? Can we get back to work? The perfect segue into my final subject. Thanks to our relations with contacts across the galaxy, we always have a steady stream of jobs available. I've granted you all the necessary permissions to access these listings at any time using the computers that surround the core. If Neva's chosen wisely, we certainly will. 
No, I believe that covers all I have to say. So you can run along to Delgado. Take the elevator to the upper level. You should be able to find your way from there, I hope. All right, listen up. You can all stop complaining. Atrium to cargo bay doors have been repaired. Oh, and you're welcome, Nev. <laughs>